I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kind yes. Hmm. A touch tight in the waist? But it will do. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. In Grimi et Art Kerzer. Daipfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. 
You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. And it's past noon. Calm yourself. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herevar II, uh. Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait here like some... The scene as far as Novigrad. Yeah. A maid. A tinker. Rad Sleden eh enekt es tun es saur an den Fein Kerscher. Es ist ein Elfes Anklein. Es ist ein Wattger. Es ist ein Stregen. Es ist ein Stregen. Es ist ein Stregen. Es ist ein Stregen. In red drain a guard and self-fit them after a set length and a floor of muscle and self-fit them sick young. Casper can be better to make in her own house than the slap again. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. We'll sharpen yet. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but... I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. 
You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. Is the yonder I need? Good. 
Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.
approach. Then both forces attacked. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Now for a shot of Igni. Faster.
slow now. Whoa. Sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. Now for a shot of Igni. Shit, one's still alive. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual, just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect, but the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of the trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. <laughs> Now for a shot of Igni. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not so fast, Roach. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the Fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you for all time, exclusively. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Come on. Them, not me. If you decided passes, not bad of it. Come on. Interest you in a pass. Cheapest around. Right here. What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through with our pass. But you're in luck. So happens I've got a few to sell. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. 
What am I to do if you can't afford it? No deal. Whoa, 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 hold up. Might have a little work for you. Reduce the price for a job well done, eh? What kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads tidy up battlefields. Problem is, there's always swarms of shite bothering them. You know, them monsters drawn to corpses. Give them some protection, and I'll swing you one beautiful discount. All right, see what I can do. You again. Looking for a pass? I've got a special price for you. All right. See what I can do. It was innocent as a bunch of lilies. But I've done nothing here. I should have turned the skin of his back. Hey, yeah. Used to be wagon shoot on market days. Loaded with all kinds of bad Not so fast, Roach. Faster. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did you last eat? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. Here. Be sure to share it with the others. Thank you. Here, for you. For your kindness. Come on, Roach.
give her up, not on me life. They hear her squealing. They'll kill us and take her all the same. So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse beneath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her. All right, all right. Looking for a man, goes by Hendrik. What you want with him? Wanna talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. I haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, Vodka. Who's this? Sir? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. We share around, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. Who are you? Who oh, I? And why do you care? Like to know who I'm drinking with, just like you. We're the Baron's men, and you're in his land. A Baron holds these lands? Must be quite a man. Doesn't seem to care a lick about all the Imperials here. More and more arriving, too. Bloody Baron's not some poncy prick son of a rich lord. So no, he's not like to piss his britches at the sight of a black-winged head. This is interesting stuff. Our Baron's Baron, because that's the way we want him. And if that strikes anyone as wrong, well, we encourage him to speak their mind. To your health, and mine. Bottoms up. If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think to myself. I see probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> Orson's always managed to hide them. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep.
So, let's have a look. You've got a young daughter, perhaps? Oh, no. Search where you will. One of these days. You'll not hold it. Let's go! Slow now. Take it easy. His blood fall on me, not on me, Yellens. Go, go. Whoa there, Roach. Air is strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, and the mist. Be gone! Leave me be, whoever you is! Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that, ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see, and the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange, the toads, I cannot hear them. Save terror through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan.
weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. <laughs> Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed, key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole, somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. left unlocked, on display, almost. Lost his mind, or...? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. A ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn.
Come on, Roach. Come on. Ah! <laughs> 
just destroy it. Come on. Destroy it.
Cider for you, or a bit of dry curd. Me lad, it's not exactly burst him, but what I got, sure to please. Like to take a look. Depends who's asking. A witcher. Wanna talk to him? Huh. Yeah. And I wanna plow the lovely Queen Cyril. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You brought us around. As I recall, you were to go your separate way. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we had none but him. Open the gate. Sergeants! Ardell! Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead normal lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. Emphysema! Now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three, one, two, three, ha <laughs> ha! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. 
believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. Now where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Strenger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Aye, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. You can calm down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing.
Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. He told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. But then I saw a butterfly and I ran to catch it and I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come. I'll help you up. Ugh. <sighs> Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Hmm. Bloodshot. But still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Mm. Something tore his leg off. No. Nord it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's vein, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? 
Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Children out to follow you can come out. You cut them up bad. The Wolf King will be angry. All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, and brew the oil in peace. Doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. You lead. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either.
really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Oh, Aaron, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren there. Uh... The little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've I've not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know.
Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. Guard! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that I've should never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar, keeps it tied up in a bun. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well, devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, Quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her... things. Nothing unusual. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any who might have, they've been eating dirt long since. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. <laughs> 